Hello, people of YouTube! My name is Steve Gray, and thank you for watching. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave a like, and feel free to comment down below. Today, we are going to be talking about My Hero Academia, Season 4, Episode 2, and this definitely felt like it should have been where the season started. We're basically getting 24 episodes this season, not 25. Um, I say that because basically, Episode 1 was a week recap. I didn't like it at all. I already knew all of the characters, all of their powers, there was a million recaps of other YouTubers doing it to get you up to par with the season and what is going on, and we really didn't need a recap. Anyway, going on to it, uh, so we are kind of introduced to the League of Villains yet again, it kind of shows all of the characters, what their quirks are, what they do, etc., and uh, you got twice bringing in this guy named Uziria, um, part of the Shihakagashi, um, uh, to basically possibly join the League of Villains. Uh, turns out that no, he does not actually want to join the League of Villains, and uh, him and Shigaraki kind of duke it out verbally, and then physically. Um, also, this guy's name is Overhaul, that is his villain name, and his quirk, because uh, he basically wrecked Mange, he basically touched Mange and killed him. So his quirk is kind of similar to Shigaraki's, where basically if you just touch the person, they decay. He, instead of decaying and turn, basically turning to dust, they basically explode, is how it works. And then he also touched the magician guy's arm, and um, his arm basically exploded off. And near the end of it, he was like, look, you don't even have a plan. I have a plan. We need to talk this out, figure out who's going to be kind of the new head now that All for One is in jail. Um, obviously, Shigaraki thinks it's going to be himself, but he doesn't really have a plan right now. Other than I think he just still wants to kill All Might. I think that's kind of number one on his list. Uh, but Togo's there like, hey, I'm going to kill these people. Shigaraki's like, eventually, eventually. Uh, so obviously, these two organizations are probably going to end up duking it out. I don't know if they're actually going to, you know, be part of the whole fighting Deku thing again, going after the UA students. Um, I'm not really sure if that's going to happen. Um, but obviously, I think Overhaul is probably going to be our main villain main antagonist for this season and obviously he's going to have to get defeated or he's going to join the league of villains and they're going to get a lot bigger or something of the sorts there not really sure uh moving on we have the whole ua students and what they're up to so a lot of them are looking for internships or work studies whatever you want to call them um and basically this episode the rest of this episode is showing deku trying to get um into uh sir night eyes work study uh because sir night eye used to be uh all Might's uh, sidekick. So he was like, okay, this guy's associated with him. He knows a lot about him. Um, he might be able to help me with my powers, so I need to go get this internship. Uh, but All Might's basically like, no. Uh, All Might is against first years doing work studies, thinks it's too dangerous, uh, not necessary right now, even though they already have their uh, preliminary licenses uh, for hero work. Um, but he's like against it. So very, very against it. So he actually goes and gets one of the top three, whose name I am forgetting right now. I'm going to scroll up. I got my little sheet, sheet, sheet here for you guys. Um, Lemillion. Um, so basically, he goes, he gets Lemillion and says, hey, can you introduce him to Sir Night Eye for me um, in order t for Deku to possibly get into the internship? Um, so it kind of ends with... Um, Deku basically creating All Might's face, trying to make Sir Night Eye laugh. Uh, because although Sir Night Eye has a gaze that can basically level anybody um, and kind of freak you out and give you chills down your spine, um, he he enjoys laughter. Um, and we get this a little bit before that because uh, Bubble Girl, who is super wafu and going to be my thumbnail, <laughs> um, he, she was reading a report to him, didn't make him laugh, and then he puts her in this tickle machine, and she's, like, dying laughing and looking cute and adorable. And I'm sure there's going to be so much wafuness and otakuness towards her for the foreseeable future. Because, <laughs> you know, you got to have that cute girl in there. Of course you do. Of course you do. It's anime. <laughs> it's got to be that cute girl. Um, but uh, Sir Night Eye was like, are you making fun of All Might? Like, my, the, my greatest hero? 
my greatest honor for working under him. And that's kind of how the episode ends. And we and there's a little bit of a preview for next episode. Um, but my guess is that uh, Sir Night Eye is actually going to take his seriousness, think it's actually funny, um, and then Deku is going to get the internship next episode. But we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, Lemillion, I'm not sure what we're doing with the big three. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see what's going to happen with them. I know the one girl, everybody's freaking out because, like, they drew her boobs or something a little bigger, which is, it's kind of stupid. Hato, I think her name is. Um, like, in the anime, like, they drew, like, the, the creator of My Hero Academia is getting death threats right now, which is kind of, uh... A little ridiculous, a little bit, a little ridiculous. I might go into a more in-depth video of that later on if that's something you guys would like to see. But yeah, that's pretty much all that's going on. This is kind of an introduction episode to the season, what's going to happen when uh, Overhaul is going to be our main villain. Uh, Deku is going to need to get an internship. Also, uh, Bakugo and Todoroki, they are not currently working this episode or going to be the, in the process of working on getting their provisional licenses as well, because as we know, both of them failed at getting them. So they are going to have to do that in order to catch up to everybody else and possibly get an internship. So I'm guessing the next episode is Deku's going to get the internship and we're just going to see a couple other uh, UA 1A characters getting internships as well. Maybe we'll get a little bit from the League of Villains, but I'm not expecting much. Maybe we'll get a little bit from Overhaul and um, his kind of league. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. My name is Steve Gray. Thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.